able to right the ship, and he did it with these guys. Night Train Lane, Dion is on the defensive end. Yeah, and that tip drill ability not active on that Night Train Lane. Dion Sanders, you already know the deal with him. He's blitzing and a lockdown man co cover corner. That playmaker ability not active for Moss and Ocho Cinco, and the only player in this competition to use Matthew Stafford with that conductor ability that allows for multiple hot routes at the line of scrimmage between cadence animations. On the other side, it's Noble Joke went 3-0 and in the group stage including a win over young Kiv in overtime. He's ranked number 24 in the world, and he's got an opportunity to advance to the semis. Yeah, and Joke, let's keep in mind, he is a veteran. He has been playing competitive Madden for about five or six years, but he is now just finally starting to reap the benefits and getting some of the cash back for all the time that he's put into this game. So you got to be proud of him, and you got to be worried if you're in the competition because he's considered as one of the best players in the world, but he's actually playing like it finally. He, this is the best we've seen him look all season he's controlling his emotions and he is a real force to be reckoned with and as we try to get narrow down this final four let's take a look at his money picks the guys that make it go and surprise surprise Night Train Lane, Dion. Deja vu, Groundhog's Day? No. <laughs> that, that tip drill is active, as Rico talked about up there, for jokes. So that's going to allow for some interceptions. He has this playmaker active on both Moss and Johnson and the gunslinger Donovan McNabb, who has mobility and the arm. Well, let's take a look at our scattering report in this one, brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. Yeah, for Boogs, you got to get going on offense. When it came to passing yards per game, he was number six in the entire ladder of all 32 players who made it here at Coltrane. So far after groups, he's number 18th in passing yards per game. He's known as an offensive player, but it's his defense that's been getting it done. But for him to beat a player the caliber of joke, he's going to need to get out of that funk and start getting it done on offense. Yeah, had himself talking to himself, giving him a pep talk. On the other side, what has Joke got to do? For Joke, keep your composure, and he's done that phenomenally so far in this tournament, and he's yet to drop a game because of it. He said it's something that he's worked on a lot coming into this tournament, and it's shown. He needs to keep that trend going, keep his composure, do what he does, and then Boog should be in for a long day. Well, it's time for quarterfinal number three. Joke and Bugs, and Bugs will take the kickoff at his own two. Dion will fall down at the 23 yard line. These guys do have a history in live events. It was in Orlando. Bugs beat Joke 20 to 13 in the group stage. And that was a very close game that Joke was in complete control of until Boogs caught an aggressive catch on multiple people and Joke went completely on tilt and fell apart for the rest of the tournament. But like we said, he started to keep his composure and that's something that we don't expect to be a factor here today. On his first play, loses two yards. You're gonna hear a lot of noise from this crowd. There's a lot of those EMB guys that got eliminated or hanging around to root on their guy Joe. Yeah, you're gonna have little man going bananas in the crowd as you can hear him right now. Fighting for, yelling hard for Joe, repping his EMB. But don't get Dub.W woken up and Skimbo because you can best believe they're gonna start capping from the crowd as soon as Boogs starts making some big plays. Well, not a good start for Boogs. It's third and 20. And there's more heat, but he got rid of it that time, and Harrison able to pick up 11 yards. Wow. And he will go for it. And though these guys got noise-canceling headphones, you can still see all the chatter from the crowd. You can see how animated the crowd gets during these games from their seats. So though they can't hear them, they definitely still can feed off that energy. Big play. Fourth and nine. Throws it up to Marvin Harrison, and he dropped it. And you can see Little Man. Keep it at 100. He's a little guy, but he's got a big heart pull. Little man, we're trying to broadcast over here, dude. <laughs> Looks like he got a full night's sleep, Scott Cole. He's ready, energetic, and excited. Maybe more excited than Joke for this game. That was a big stop, opening stop for Joke, though, Coltrane. We said it was important for Boots to get his offense going. Wasn't able to do it on the first drive. Joke needs to capitalize. 
So Tony Dorsett picks up two yards. Scott Cole along with RG here in quarterfinal number three. Skimbo and Spot Me have already moved on to the semis. Two more spots left for tomorrow. And there's Tony Dorsett. That's close to the first down. It's going to be just shy, third and one. Yeah, good read right there by Joke. And let's remember, Coltrane, this is a $15,000 game that they're playing here. They've already each guaranteed themselves $20,000. Winning this game alone guarantees you $35,000 in a spot in the final four. One yard needed in the red zone. We've seen this get stingy many times in this tournament. And he'll stretch it outside, and Tony Dorsett will pick up the first down, a night train on the tackle. Yeah, and Joke hurrying up to the line. Must like what he sees. And Dorsett will fall forward for a yard, so it's going to be second and goal from the seven. And Boogs is very reliant on shooting those gaps to stop the run like you saw on that play. He doesn't have the greatest defensive personnel on the D-line and in the linebacker positions besides that one Sean Taylor item. So it, it's really important for him to make a lot of user tackles and shoot a lot of gaps in order to stop the run. Second and goal from the seven. Looking toward the end zone. Will go short on the playmaker. Gets wrapped up at the five, third and goal. This is good defensive stand so far from Boogs. This is going to be a huge play right here. I anticipate Joke to take a field goal if he doesn't get in right here. If you're Boogs, you need to stand up. Already almost three minutes gone by here in the first quarter. Joke trying to strike first. Goes to Dorsett and Boogs is all over it. What do you do, RG? Oh, you, if you're Joke, you take your three right here. You got to stop on the opening possession of the game. There's no way you want to give Boogs back the ball without making him pay for you getting that stop. This is a smart decision by Joke. So we got a three point lead for Noble Joke. But Boogs able to stand tall after the turnover on downs and just hold him to a field goal. If you're Boogs, you need to get it going on this drive. Your offense has been one of the best all year long, but for some reason you've showed up to the Madden Championship and you've been relying on your defense. You need to show that you can get it done on this side of the ball. Stafford. Finds Coleman, and Coleman makes a man miss. And so there's the first, first down of the game for that man, Boogs. Yeah, Reginald Brown, representing Detroit, Michigan, currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia, 29 years old. Wife Alex in attendance. Plays Madden full-time this year, Coltrane. He's already taken home about $50,000 in winnings. Trying to add to that. There's his wife in the crowd. Interesting story about her being here, Scott, is Boogs bought her ticket to come out here before he advanced out of group play. Savage. So that, that's savage. <laughs> that shows just how confident this guy, that, how much confidence this guy has in this game. Didn't have Disneyland on his mind. He's got wind of that 100K. And when you say, when your wife, she's a full-time teacher, gives you the go to play Madden full-time, you got to deliver. You got to bring home some bacon. Like we said, Boogs pretty much already brought home 50000 this year. And he can make that $65,000 off of Madden earnings with a win just in this game. Ball at the 50. That helps justify the decision to say, hey, honey, I'm going to play Madden all year. Well, that's why she's the real MVP. Second and 10 from the 50. Boogs. Trailing by a field goal here in the opening quarter. Stafford finds Dallas Clark. That's close to a first down. It's going to be third and one. There you go, Boots. He's starting to move the ball. But this third and one situation has been tricky all tournament long. People have good defenses for this short yardage situation. And we've seen a trend where players like to take shots in this situation to pick up a big chunk of yardage. It'll be interesting to see what Boots does here. 
Hands it off to Coleman. Coleman's got some room. First down and more to the 33, and that will end the first quarter. We've had some shootouts today. This yep. one, we've only got three through the first five minutes. Yeah, but slowing down the tempo a little bit. But that was a big run right there by Boogs. It took him in the field goal range. At the very least, he should be able to tie this ball game right here. Just needs to make sure he doesn't turn the ball over. Skimbo beat Lowe's 45 to 28. Spot me beat Young Kid 37-34. Coleman carries it like a loaf of bread to the 32. And remember, this is somewhat of a rivalry game. Whenever you got guys that are both a part of two separate crews playing against each other, you're not only playing for the money, you're playing to represent your crew, and that's a lot of pride on the line. Especially when the crew you're playing against name stands for jokes block list. <laughs> I hate the giggle, but it's funny. Oh, big hit. Still moves it to the 28, third and five. Now for Bugs. And this isn't really two down territory, being down three and in field goal range. So this is a big play coming up here. If you're Boots, you want to get this first down and extend the drive. But if you don't get it, you most likely have to take three. We got a big third down right here. Audible's out. Got two wide to the right. Harrison to the left. Looks to the end zone. And Chad Johnson takes it down to the one. No idea how his momentum did not carry him into the end zone. Wow, that's a good read. Oh, yeah, they saved the touchdown. Good point, Scott, but better read by Boots. You could tell him that's something he worked on with Skimbo. They studied Joke for a lot of hours, and that was something they knew would be there. Good execution by Boots. Preparation paying off, and he's in for six. And JBL's back in control. And the crowd's feeling it. They're answering back to Little Man. You're not the only one getting loud in here, Little Man. JBL's got some support, too. It's up and it's through as Books doesn't turn to Joke. He turns to Joke's buddy, Little Man, and gives him the business. <laughs> oh, you gotta love these games, Coltrane. The Madden Championship atmosphere is something special, as it should be. Remember, this is the biggest Madden tournament there's ever been, and we should all feel privileged to be a part of it. We're also the biggest broadcasting crew they've ever had. Oh, yeah. Literally. A couple of Grizzlies <laughs> up there, huh? What's the weight limit at the desk? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Scott Cole along with RG. Close out the buffets when we come to town. So now Joe's got an opportunity to answer. They knock him out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Yeah, and here's this gun tight flex out of the Tennessee playbook. A lot of players run this Tennessee playbook just for this formation. We saw it from Lopes. Gibbs called it out. There's a lot of ways you can attack the defense from this specific formation. They knock him out of bounds at the 43. The, the thing that makes it rough is they line up in that Snuggies, as you like to call yeah, it. Yeah, snug it up. You're in a tight formation, and then you got two deep crossing patterns that you kind of have to respect with two shallow crossing patterns coming from underneath. A lot of times you got one, two, three, and then four. It's a lot to guard. First and 10 from the 43. Four. Nice drag around, but couldn't get free. That's Sean Taylor. Out of position, linebacker with a tackle. Five for five right now for Joe. Sean Taylor also boots his primary defender at linebacker. Yeah. He tanked everything on the D-line and at linebacker besides that out of position Sean Taylor right away. He's made some big plays for him in the group stages. And there is the heat. Proud. Comes in with a big sack. And look at the focus of Boots right there. You would think, if that was me, Scott, I'm jumping out of my chair. I'm pumping <laughs> my chest. I'm getting animated. I'm telling the crowd to shut up. Boots just stays focused, takes the sack, and locks it on the next play. Very admirable. Third and 14. And throws the interception. It's the former Seminole, Jalen Ramsey, with the pick. Oh, man, let's take a look at this replay. And that's just a bad throw, throwing right at Jalen Ramsey and Joke a little frustrated right there. Can he keep his composure? First and 10. Rolls away from the pressure and whoa. 
Backside pressure. And I like when you send the, if it's a right-handed quarterback, I like when they send the blitz from the right. Yeah, you can roll right out to him. his left. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If you're gonna blitz, blitz from this side, so Stafford's gotta make moves over here. You don't want him rolling out to a strong arm. Well, that's where it's coming from. Throw it, and there's Marvin Harrison. It's gonna have to pin on the spot. Let's see if they get him forward progress. No. Third and inches. This is interesting. These inches, again, when you're playing your buddy at home, this is a give me, this is free money. But here at the Madden Championship, we've seen that this is a tough situation to be in. You go two minute warning here, RG? Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna take a sneak peek at the defense. And he'll go to that two minute warning, third and inches. You saw Marvin Harrison catch the ball for the first down, but then made a football move and tackled behind. The yard to gain. So third and inches at the 45. It's so tough to take your hand. You, you have to take your hands off the sticks to get that forward progress. Yeah. And these guys never do that. No, no. We're, we're, you know, Madden players, we greedy. <laughs> Want to get that stick work popping. Third and inches. Little delay, and that's not going to do it. And it's decision time for Boogs. And he loses a couple of inches and now finds himself in a fourth and one. We're not lying to you at home when we tell you when you're playing Madden at this high of level, these one yard situations are tough. You got a better chance of getting 60 yards than six inches sometimes. This is big. This is big, Scott. Biggest play of the game thus far. Bunch it up to the right, fourth and one. 90 seconds to go in the half. Stafford steps, throws, and Tevin Coleman with a big grab out to the 38. First down, Boogs. Yeah, he had a couple people open on that play. Made the right read to Tevin Coleman, and he had the A wide receiver, the slot receiver, going wide open up the seam. There's that ninja cam. I Look love it. That. that guy gets in there. He's lurking. Lurking back there. You can't even see him. Four point game. Shout out to Dave, the camera guy, giving us the crispy angle out there. Huh? Under a minute to go. And that's a big sack. That's going to push him out of field goal range. You see little man in there, Dubby. Even saw Michael Skimbo sighting. Second and 13. There's also a guy in there named Problem Right. Maybe you've heard of him. Oh. That's going to bring up a third down, 52 seconds to go. That's the cool thing. It doesn't matter if you're advancing on, if you're playing later, or if you've been eliminated. These guys love Madden. Can't get enough of it. Yes, and this is a great atmosphere to be in. You're around a bunch of people that love the same thing as you, that are passionate about the same thing. My kind of atmosphere. Can't get rid of it. And now here comes a fourth down for Books at the 41. Take a look at it again, RG. Here comes the heat. Yeah, and send six defenders that time. That's more than you're blocking. Pressure's going to get there. That's good blitz style up from Joke. And Boog's going for this on fourth and 13. Uh oh. This is big. 48 seconds to go in the half. Has three timeouts. Needs 13 yards. Stafford, get rid of it. He can't. Well, you got to just throw that up at the very least. Turnover on downs. And, and you, that's a big play. You took the words right out of my mouth, Scott. You, on fourth down, you got to make sure you get the ball out of your hand. Worst case scenario, it's an interception that serves as a punt. So two timeouts, 45 seconds is what Joke's got to work with here at the end of the half. And Jerry Rice, the GOAT, will take it to the 41. And I'm, I'm nervous for Boogs watching this. He's offense still seems to be in a funk. We're not used to him being held to just seven points, but lucky for him, his defense has been epic in this tournament, holding Joe to only three thus far. So second and one. And that will fall harmlessly to the turf. Very fortunate right there for Boogs that the pressure was able to get there. Joke had a deep crossing route that was about to break open, but Joke's quarterback hit before he could get the pass off. Boogs has been playing like the real Detroit Lions. Struggleville on offense. And Joke is now starting to get a go. And look at that. Clock's ticking only one time out. 
Good joke, you gotta be careful here. You're in an awkward situation. You don't wanna force anything. Ball at the 32. And he has got a man open. Jerry Rice down to the two. Clock is moving. And, okay. and he just saw that. How to use his final timeout. Point. Does he not go out of bounds here, RG? It's uh, close. Come, come on now. It's close. Come on now. Matt. Maybe his elbow went down in bounds. Oh, geez. That looked like he went out of bounds. Okay, th this is going to be big. This is big, Scott. Joe has maybe one or two plays where he could throw it into the end zone. He can't run the ball. Or can you? <laughs> First and goal. I, I wouldn't that risk would it. That would be savage, but I, I don't recommend. Quick throw. Oh, picked oh. up by Bucks. Oh, my goodness. A crowd in Burbank erupts on a Dion interception. And look at Dion with the crispy toe tap to get food some momentum. And the emotionless world shows some emotion. Could have had three points, end up getting zero for Noble Joke. And now Boogs, be surprised if he just doesn't put this one on the ground. Yeah, get, get out of it. Oh, oh. He's going to swerve it up. And, oh, almost paid for it. Take a look at this again. To end the half, it is the interception. We talked about it, trying to throw that route that Skimbo has had so much success with. And look at Dion make a Tip play. Throw. That's what you want to see. And Joe, a good point we should make is Boogs doesn't have tip drill nope, active. not active. But that doesn't mean you can't catch interceptions off the tip. They're just not going to happen at 100%. So Boogs reaping the benefit of Same that Same answer he gave a guy on social media just a few days ago. I follow you. Oh, yeah. I'm looking out. I I'm looking you. out. Halftime here, 7-3, to three, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate that. First things first, I think we got to get little man a lozenge or something because my man is fired up over there. I tell you what, he's over there. He's wearing sweatpants. You know what that means? No belt. But he is making <laughs> a lot of noise rooting for his guy, Noble Joke. No doubt about it, Rico. We saw a huge turnover there at the end of the first half. How big is that going to be for Bugs in the second half? We talked about the tips earlier, yeah. and, but we thought it would be Joke in the tip drill that was going to be able to take advantage of it. But Bugs, his defense has been phenomenal. As RG alluded to earlier, his offense isn't the same, but he still found a way to win. As long as Joke doesn't allow his emotions to come back and take over him, he's still in this game. He just needs to focus and execute on both sides of the ball. Let's take a look. Uh, there's some plays that he might have got fired up about in that half. We got the highlights here. Up the middle, he got down into the red zone, but got stalled out after a great opening stop against Boogs. From there, Boogs took the lead 7-3. to three. The interception, uncharacteristic. He's not happy about that one. The crowd here is going raucous, and that's where we stand. Yeah, the crowd is making sure that Lil Man's not the only one on his feet screaming. Well, this Madden Championship is the fourth EA Major of the year. We've had three previous to this one with three different champions. Let's hear from these guys about what it really means to be a champion in Madden. Being a Madden champion is special. There's not many people in the world that can say that they're the best in the world or something. So anytime you can say that, then you feel pretty good about yourself. After I won the Madden Challenge, I held up the belt, and it was the greatest experience of my life. There was no other feeling like it. Obviously, Madden Bowl was my favorite event. I was able to win the whole tournament. It was such a great experience going all over the country, from Orlando and then to the Super Bowl in Houston. All the people who were there for the Super Bowl wound up watching Madden. Then I had two games that came down to the wire, one against Skimbo, who's one of the best players in the world, and of course, the last game was against Problem, the greatest Madden player ever. And the way that game ended was just ecstatic and emotionally overload for myself. It really meant the world to me. The Madden Classic obviously sticks out to me because it's my one and only major championship. Holding up the belt, it was a great moment for me. The money that was on the line, you put in a lot of effort to get to that point, and to come through with the championship like that is pretty special, and it means a lot for me. I'm here to stay, I'm not going anywhere, and I plan on being at the top of the Madden scene for quite some time. I haven't put my belt up in my house yet, but when I do, it's going to be the first thing I look at when I come through the front door. The experience this year in Madden 17 fuels me to be the best in Madden 18. I don't think there's anything that's going to hold me back from being one of the top players again next year. I always feel like with anything in life, you get what you put into it. You know, So if you're going to put the time and effort, which I always do in Madden, if you want to put that much effort and dedicate yourself to it, you're going to excel. And that's what absolutely I plan on doing in Madden 18.
That's a really nice look back at some special moments for those guys. We would talk about fashion tips. I wonder if Kiv would trade one of those Gucci belts for one of the Madden belts. <laughs> that Madden belt is, uh, is worth a whole lot more in the, in the eyes of this community. I want to remind you guys at home that you don't have to miss out. You can catch up on all of the highlights from the Madden Championship on YouTube.com slash EA Sports. Coming up after this one, it is going to be our final match of the day. Problem against Volterax. Everybody here is fired up for this one. Before we get there, we've got Drea. She is on the field with Joke. Thanks so much, Dave. Joke, you threw that pick, giving Boogs even more momentum. How do you get it back going your way in the second half? I just got to score my first drive and then stop him, and then I'll get all the momentum back. I know you told me before this matchup your confidence level was on 10. As we head into the second half, everything's on the line. Scale of 1 to 10, where are you at right now? 30. Why? Because I'm going to score, and then I'm going to stop them, and I'm going to score. There you go. That's that confidence right there. Best of luck in the second half. Let's send it to Scott and RG. Thank you so much, Drea. Well, you see Joke there trying to scramble out of the pocket. Interview not over, but he's locked in. But you got to love what you're seeing from him in that interview. He doesn't seem like he's yeah. on tilt at all. And I know it's a theme we keep talking about. Can Joe keep his composure? What you need to understand is this is a guy that completely lost his composure early on at the Madden Classic mm -hmm. and just got blown out for the rest of the tournament, didn't make it out of groups. Similar thing happened later on at the Madden Bowl. And then he came here and he said, you know what? I know that's a problem and it's something that I've worked on significant, significantly. And he showed us that. And ever since that we've seen him act mature like this and not go on tilt, he is yet to drop a game. So this is why we keep keeping a look on that, is if he can keep it up and keep that composure, he might very well get himself right back in this game. Well, he alluded to him getting the ball first here to start the third quarter. And Joke calling a shot, saying he's going to come out, score, get a stop, and score again. Trying to do a skim ball, a little Babe Ruth action. Got to prove it. We'll see what happens. First and 10. McNabb will just throw it away and then get absolutely crushed. The problem with Joke's guarantee here is Boogs' defense. For somebody that's been known as such an offensive player, his defense has been phenomenal ever since we came here to this top 32 in the Madden Championship. I don't know if he's worked on it or if it's just a coincidence, but he is playing some of the best defense we've seen in this entire tournament, and now's the right time to do that when the big bucks are on the line. Second and 10. Ouch. Ouch. He's going to have to burn one of those precious timeouts. Oh, man. Timeouts in the second half early on when you're losing? It's not a good remedy to win football, Madden football games. This time completes it for a first down, and that'll move it to the 38. McNabb, 9 of 13. And only the second grab for Randy Moss. Let's see. Let's see if Joe can back up that guarantee here, Coltrane. He said, score, stop, score. Got the first down he needed. Can he get it rolling? Here's that play Gibbs talked about. You got two shallow routes and then the deep crossers. Coming over here, it's a really hard play to stop. McNabb throws off his back foot. There's Randy Moss with some room. And he'll pick up the first down. That'll move the sticks. Okay, I lied. The shallow cross came from the left side. Still a good play nonetheless. And you got to think, if Joke's throwing off the casters, he's got to be throwing off his <laughs> opponent quite a bit too, huh? He only threw two interceptions in the group stages. He's already got two INTs this game. Oh. One at the end of the half that cost him some points. We've seen him make a living with this route right up here. You see it. Didn't throw it. Maybe should have ran it with McNabb earlier. He picks up four. Probably could have taken off for the first down. Yeah, he had a chance. What he wanted to throw is that deep corner route. It looked like he had it for a second, hesitated. And that's all it takes is once you hesitate, it's game over. You, you, you got to just wash it up, either throw the ball away or scramble. You don't want to force turnovers. Second and six at the 44. McNabb. And there's another open Randy Moss. And he falls down at the 30 yard line. So Moss wanted to drop that one too, but <laughs> held on to it at the last second. He's thrown the ball 15 times now. Good drive so far by Joe. 
Play action, rolling right. Throws all the way across the field. And there's Ocho who made a man miss, but then stepped out of bounds at the 24. Could have had more. Yeah, a little tiptoe swag from Ocho. Ended up falling out of bounds. Still a seven yard gain. And very effective on this drive. Yet to throw an incompletion. Second and three. McNabb finds Jerry Rice, and Rice will be marked down at the seven-yard line. He's in the red zone. And these are good reads we're seeing from Joke right now. Not throwing in a lot of coverage, not forcing anything, and finding his guys open in space where he's able to run a little bit after the catch. When you're passing the ball, this is how you want to be passing it. Well, he said at halftime when he was talking with Drea that he was going to score. He's got a few plays to do it. Watch the dive. Threw an INT his last time down here. Tony Dorsett, boy, it looked like he was going to walk in. He gets hit by Sean Taylor at the one yard line, second and goal. The toughest yard in Madden 17. Yeah, this is not a give me at all, as we've seen. I like that single back tight wham call, though, from Joe. Goes back to Dorsett, and this time he will walk in. He called it. And now he's got the touchdown. Can he get the extra point? And then he's calling for one stop. And Little Man is standing on top of his chair in the crowd, throwing the, the what are the sticks called, Scott? Uh, uh, the, the little drum things that everyone makes noise. Yeah, the thunder with. sticks. The thunder sticks. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Look at that replay. He's on top of the chair, counting, capping at Dubby. Passionate little fellow we got over there, huh? I'm just going to go no comment, and we're going to move on to the next play. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I can be really savage, but I'm just going to let it ride. The most important thing right now is Joke has got a three-point lead, and he needs a stop. He said he would get it. He said, score, stop, score. We got the score. Can you stop him? Nice playmaker, but it's intercepted. Lonnie Ballantyne on the user alert. Man, little man about to turn into the incredible Hulk out there in the crowd. You won't like him when he's angry. Oh my goodness, and I don't know if Boots likes joke right now. Gets a big stop. That's a user alert, Coltrane. That means he was controlling that player from the start. And a crispy dot to the 12 yard line. Oh my goodness. Look at Joe doing his best George Foreman impression, trying to back up his guarantee. Got the score, got the stop. Already on Boogs' 12-yard line. All kinds of momentum. 166 yards passing, delay to Tony Dorsett. And he's close to a first down at the three-yard line, second and one. Oh, this is bad for Boogs, already down three. Joke on it on Boogs' three-yard line to put in a touchdown, make it two possessions. And the way Boogs' offense has been looking this tournament, that's not a good look. Second and one, and McNabb. Oh! And the ball is out! The ball! And it's a fat guy touchdown! Fat oh, guy oh, touchdown! Fat oh, guy <laughs> touchdown by Winnie Coltrane! Wow! That was LaRaven Clark with a touchdown. What? Play here, beautiful stick work by Bulls, hit stick, and like you said, Clark just picks up the ball like it's a piece of pie and dives into the end zone. Ten point game now. Take a look at it again. This was rough for Boots too because he makes a beautiful user play, hit stick on McNabb. Oh, he needed that. That was the momentum swing Boots was desperate for. Instead of break for joke. So now we got a 10 point game and it's a must answer drive for Boogs. Oh. Gotta like it when the big men are able to take it in. We needed to contain ourselves. We started <laughs> jumping up and down. The floor probably started rumbling in here. They yeah. measured it at a 3.2 on the Richter scale. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta do better. Second and ten. <laughs> Three of that was us. Point two was little man. It's joke. It's starting to feel it. And he's a 
dangerous player. We said his biggest weakness was his composure. He went and corrected that, and he's been a savage on these sticks ever since. He's been playing very impressively. Stafford on third and ten. That's what he needed. Out to midfield. Boots is going to fight here, Coltrane. Yeah. This game's not over by any means. Still a minute and change in the third quarter. Boots with the ball, only down 10. Very confident in himself. Can and there's the heat ball? once again. We've already had two classics. Skimbo beat Los 45 to 28 in a shootout. And then spot me, please. Three point winner over Young Kiv. They are in the semifinals. They'll face each other tomorrow. Right now it's Bugs and Noble Joke. Problem and Volt up next. And Coleman maybe picks up a yard. And we told you, Joke is a guy that's been playing for a very long time, but has never reaped the benefits of getting back what he's put in. If he could win this game, this is by far the biggest win of his career. And boy, has it been a long time coming for him. Third and seven. Swings it outside. And Chad Johnson is thrown out at the 44. Fourth and three. Got to go for it. Oh, man, this is a situation for Boogs. Look at him composed. But if you got a three-yard play, Boogs, you better pull it out now. This is a huge momentum play, Coltrane. Exciting stuff here. This is big. Fourth and three. Third quarter's winding down. Needs a conversion. He's got to watch the blitz. Drops and coverage comes from the other side, and Moss coughs it up. Oh, my goodness. Joke recovers it with Dion. Oh. Take a look at it again. Was he down? No, that's a fumble. That Ooh. was a user hit stick fumble, and that's unfortunate for Boogs. The pressure was coming in. He stepped up in the pocket, made a crispy read. But if you don't protect your receivers when you throw over the middle, that's the type of thing that could happen. Unfortunate for Boogs. Tons of momentum right there for Joe. EMB getting represented right now. Boogs dials up the heat. Let's take a look at that fumble again. This time from a different angle. Big hit by Harrison Smith, and it was clearly a fumble. Yeah, and that's the 97 overall Harrison Smith. He's a god in the secondary. You want to avoid him. And that's a reason why right there. He can knock your block off. Both guys have turned it over twice now. The joke with a 10-point lead, and the ball throws it up on a playmaker, oh! and it's intercepted by Taylor. Oh, my goodness. You're not just trying anybody. You're trying the out of position. Sean Taylor being music controlled by Bugs. Our Bugs, as I like to call him. And now he gets the momentum back, and JBL's back in the building. First and ten. Wow. Last play of the quarter, and Matthew Stafford is going to need to spend some time at the spa. He is getting absolutely destroyed. Yeah, Choke is screaming at him. When I say screaming, I mean he is blitzing, sending heavy pressure. If your boots, the most important thing here is you get yourself back in field goal range so you can make this a one possession ball game. Stafford got to get rid of it. Choke has dialed up the pressure another notch here in the second half. Yeah, and we're seeing that. Look at that. Five sacks for Noble Joke so far in this game. Very well prepared for Boogs' offense. Two tickets already punched to the semifinals. What a dive! And it's out again! And this time he rolls over on it. Marvin Harrison recovers his own fumble. What the what? Look at Joke doing his best loss impression. Clicking onto the fenders right at the point of contact. Jalen Ramsey out there. Known for laying hits in Madden. Boog is going for this. I don't understand this, Coltrane. He has Jason Myers not confident with a 50 yarder. He's going for it on fourth and two. And he has a man, and there's Randy Moss, who gets the first down and holds on to the ball. Oh my goodness. 
look at the ice and the veins of Boogs. Fourth and two in a two possession game in the fourth quarter. And you've got the stones to do that. What an animal. So first and 10 from the man from Atlanta. Reginald Brown looking to the end zone. And a nice swat. He is fortunate Harrison Smith did not go for that interception off of that tip pass because he does have that tip drill ability and that would have been intercepted. You got to be careful with your boobs. Fourth down's been his friend and second down he'll pick up seven yards so it'll be third and three from the six. And look how close all these games have been Coltrane. Yep. When you get down to the final eight like this the competition and the skill gap is so thin. And Harrison pops oh, it up again. Dead. The ball's out. It's still out. And it's recovered. Marvin Harrison. No, Chad Johnson jumped on the Harrison fumble. Jeez, Joke is clicking on and clapping right now. Fortunate for Boogs. He's able to recover the fumbles this time. What a ball game. First and goal now. And Harrison Again. Smith, oh my goodness. Again. He's the clapper. Second and goal. Tosses it outside. Oh. Tired of getting hit. And a brilliant play call by Boogs. He's going to have an opportunity to make it a field goal game. I like that play call by Boogs, Coltrane. Joke is running through gaps, hit sticking you all over the place. Oh, you want to run through a gap? Let me just toss it outside, follow my blocks, and make this a ball game. Wow. Three point game with 3.14 to go. We're in game number three of the quarterfinals. We only got 13, three minutes and 14 seconds left, Coltrane, in the fourth quarter. Three point ball game. This is where things get intense. McNabb throws across his body. It's picked off. Sean Taylor. Oh my gosh, you know it was nasty if it made Boogs get out of his seat. That's one of the nastiest runs we've seen all tournament. Look at him guard the seat. Come down, take the drag, use a lurk. Boogs. Wow. In field goal range, who's got Got to be careful. Goes to Coleman. Coleman. Takes it to the 13 yard line. I love this game. I have to agree with you. I would say I'm in love with this game. Oh my goodness. If this is what the Madden Championship is about, give me more. First and 10 from the 13. And he'll gain two yards, so he'll have second and eight. He can still get a first down. That interception, I'm still just baffled by that interception. That was bananas. That is not easy to do, Coltrane. He rallied down with that Sean Taylor. And again, it put him in field goal range. That is so important, because as long as he doesn't turn the ball over, worst case scenario, he ties the ball game and could potentially go up with a touchdown. And we're getting late in this fourth quarter. Things are super interesting right now. 20 seconds before the two minute warning. He goes into that split back formation. Started using it in the group stages and he'll go to the run. And that will take us to the two minute warning. Deep breaths RG. Deep breaths. Oh man, someone get a towel. And it's not even hot. No, man. it's not. It's just crazy. Third and 10 from the 13. Dude, the palms are sweaty right now. This is Eminem style type, type stuff. You gotta make sure you at least tie the ball game. Yeah, this is big. This is a big play, Coltrane. Third and 10. This is it. He needs, he needs the first down or a score. He's taking three. Huge play. Bunch to the left, motions to Harrison the same way. Stafford. Ooh. Every time the ball comes out, you hold your breath. And here's a field goal to tie it. This is a big kick right here. Looks good. He'll put that one through. And 
I don't understand right there. Joke doesn't even go for the block. He comes out in a regular defense. Boogs isn't someone that shows us he's willing to fake the kick yet. If I'm Joke, I'm going for the field goal block right there. 17-17. Wow. 1.53 to go. Joke has two timeouts. Boogs has all three. Winner advances to the semifinals. Oh my gosh, their nerves have to be shot right now. And problem and Volterax is up next. Oh man, I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> we have the EMT standing by. Thank goodness. Yeah, their nerves in this situation, single elimination, fourth quarter, big bucks on the line, under two minutes in the game. Night Train with a big hit. It's a special kind of feeling that these guys are going through right now, Coltrane. You can't explain it until you're actually in it. We've had a ton of turnovers in this game. Fine store set. Same route, different player. Same result. This time it's a first down. Yeah, but Boogs is getting some hits of his own looking to force a fumble. It's going to come down to whoever has the ball last. You can see that joke has turned the ball over four times, Boogs twice. First and ten. 120 to go. McNabb swings it outside. Wearing out that route. The question is, is it going to be enough? to get you in field goal range. And remember the way Boogs needs to play defense here, like you said, he needs to play defense to prevent the field goal. Right. It's not just the touchdown you gotta defend. You can't let Joke pretty much cross this line right back there past the 40, or else your tournament life is in serious jeopardy. For Joke, Jordan Gay is his kicker. He needs to get to about the 30-yard line. Uh oh you gotta what? Look at this. Safety's way too far down. Don't get beat deep. There's the heat, and almost picked up again by Sean Taylor. Oh, that's a good way not to get beat deep. You just send the pressure. Don't give him time to throw the ball deep, and that almost gets picked off. Bad angle by Sean Taylor, and look at Boog showing emotion. That's how you know things are tense up in here. That would have been interception number five for Joke. Third seven, the heat. He's got a punt. He's got a punt. He's got the punt. He ain't punt, my friend. Oh he my ain't goodness. Punt. Fourth oh. and seven. Give me some thunder sticks. I want to start banging on myself right now. This is going to be bananas. How don't you punt the ball here if you joke? Oh, this is crazy. The here we go. we got people here in Burbank on their feet. Fourth yeah, and seven. Joke rolls out. Look at that. Field has a man. Whoa! And Paul Krause gets beat again. This time he's got the ball down to the 25 yard line. I'm gonna throw up. Oh my goodness, Joke is trying to play it cool right now, but he knows that is the biggest Madden play of his career. Books does have three timeouts, so he needs to just stand tall here. Trying to block that kick. Are you kidding me on fourth and seven, single elimination, 15 grand game, <laughs> tournament on the line? And you got the stones to go for it and bomb it deep like that and get vintage? Hands it to Dorset. Dorset gets hit again by Night Train. 22 seconds on the clocks. Stopped with the Boogs timeout. He has one remaining. He's got the ball on the 24 yard line right here. 21 yarder seconds. from there. So 22 seconds on the 24. It's a 41 yard field goal from there. I formation. Tony Dorset, the legend, dots the eye. And those are precious seconds. And he'll use a timeout. It's going to be a 37 yarder to take the lead. If you're Boogs, you need to go for the block right here. You need to call field goal block. You need to get on one of those eligible kick block defenders. You see him right there. He needs to explode off that line and make a play. I've seen it happen. This time at Walt. And down Main Street. Oh my. That man right there has a three point lead with 12 seconds to go. Wow, I don't think I even kicked this thing deep. You might want to, if you do, you got to get it real. Yep. I'm Maximum power. Here comes Dion. Clock moving. 
Take a look at it again. Fourth and seven, RG. This could be the biggest play we've seen in the tournament. Right behind problems, last second touchdown versus serious Mo. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, Paul Krause, get him out of there. Oh man, that's one of the clutchest get plays him out of there. I've ever seen. Quick, quick sell. I'm done. Polly Krause, I'm done. That's quick a sell. tough route for anyone to guard, though. <laughs> yeah. That's what you need to understand, Coltrane. Couldn't close the gap. Of course, it was Randy Moss. What is, with no timeouts left, this is an extremely awkward situation for Boots. Got to go deep into the sideline. Good pocket. Steps up and decides to go down the middle. It's picked off. And that is Dixon. Brian Dixon will close it out for Joke. And that man right there is going to move on to the semifinals. And you wow. got Joe Dell in a $15,000 game. A long time coming, showing a lot of class, good game immediately. You know Boogs is hurting, but he has nothing to hold his head down over. He was a phenomenal competitor all season long. One of the best we got, one of the most classy we got. But today is Joke's day. You talked about it in your scouting report that he just couldn't get his offense going here in Burbank. Failed him once again. Yep, yep. And it was just so uncharacteristic because he's been one of the top offensive players we've had all year. But it just shows how these players are constantly adapting, looking for new schemes. And when you get to the end of the year at the Madden Championship, things can change. Well, he turned the ball over four times, but he had a heck of a play on fourth and seven that clinched the game down on the field with Drea. Scott, well, what a fantastic game. Let me say that first off for those of us that love Madden and love the NFL. Joke, you told me at halftime you were confident. You guaranteed the victory. How does it feel to back up your words with action? It feels great, but I got to play better if I want to win the tournament. I'm playing way too bad on offense, so I got to play way better if I want to win the tournament. Fourth and seven. Take me through that. Uh, I actually got kind of lucky. I quick hiked him, and he was on his DT. He didn't use a guard to route. That route's a glitch. He got open. I just threw it. You said you need to play better, but you played pretty well. This is the biggest win of your career. Just describe the magnitude of letting that all sink in. It's amazing, but I still got two games left, so I'm not done yet. All right, well, best of luck moving forward. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Dave and the gang. Thank you, Dre.